Hi folks, my name is Jonathan from Connects. I'm going to take you through a four minute drywalling demonstration. For the purposes of this video, it's in Imperial, but it works equally as well on Metric. If you have any questions on how to upload plans, set up an account, feel free to reach out to us directly. Um, or you can check out our YouTube channel, which has uh, a couple more demonstration videos. Thanks, look forward to hearing from you. So we're going to set the scale first off and they're usually pretty good and tell you what it is. So you can see here is, is a quarter is to a foot. So you find that on the page scale bar. Go down to a quarter equals to one and you type that in. And what you should do then is kind of make a measurement to make sure everything is above board. To do that, you click on the length tool, click to start, and double click to finish. And the exact measurement will appear in the measurements drawer. Once you're happy that the scale is correct, we can start measuring. Here we're going to add a group. In this case, we're going to measure the internal walls. What you do is name your group, give it a color. If this is something you use frequently, you can add it to your favorites and then just press add. Like we did with the length, you just click to start, double click to finish, and you'll see your group appear in that measurements drawer. Because we have the group selected, what we can do is we can continue to measure and the shapes will be added into the group, giving you the overall total. Once you've completed, you can drop down the group here and you can see which shapes make up the total of the group. Extending the measurements drawer by pressing the green arrow, we can add in additional information, such as the height of the walls. If we know the internal walls are 11 feet, we put it into the height column and it'll do the measurements for you, giving you the square footage of the walls you need to work with. This height will go against anything you put into the group internal walls, so you don't have to keep revisiting it. Next, say we want to get the square footage of the cooling room ceiling. Use the rectangle, click, drag and drop, and you will get the square footage of that shape. Rename it in the measurements drawer here. In a perfect world, everything would be symmetrical, but we know it's not sometimes, so the best tool to use to get the square footage of anything that's not symmetrical is the polygon. Same as the linear, click to add a point, Click again to change direction and double click to finish. This will give you the square footage of that area. What we'll do now is use the count function. Same as most of the tools, you just click it, add a marker. In this case, we're going to do external corners. Pick a color. What you can do differently here is give it a, an icon that will represent it on the plans. Click add and away you go counting the external corners. Again, what's going to happen is you'll see these up in the measurements drawer once you're finished. I've jumped ahead here to give you an idea of what the finished product might look like. Here, you'll be able to check on everything that you've done. By hovering over it in the measurements drawer, it will illuminate on the plans so as you can ensure that you've got everything that you need. Check what shapes make up the totals, see if all of your heights are correct, and just double check to make sure everything's there. Once you're happy, download the quoting template. On the quoting template, everything will correspond to the measurements drawer and canvas as you've done it. If you want to, you can add in a percentage of wastage for materials. This will impact the total column to the right of it. When you're ready, you can add in a unit cost to each line item. This will give you the total cost it's going to take you to do that item. Once you've completed all the lines, you'll see the subtotal at the bottom of those columns. You can add in your own contingency and your own margin. Feel free to play with these as you wish. By using Connects Measure and our quoting template, you have cut your time to quote significantly.